Hello, how are you doing? In this video, I'm going to show a simple AWS Lambda function that integrates with Claude, the LLM provided by Anthropic. Have you seen how easy it is to build an AWS Lambda function that integrates with one of the many LLMs available in Amazon Bedrock without having to use Lambda layers? Well, if not, then watch along with me for the next few minutes and I'll quickly get you up to speed. Okay, let's get started. In this video, I will use two services in AWS Cloud. The first is AWS Lambda, which gives us the ability to create functions as a service. I'll be using Python 3.12 when I create this Lambda function. The second is Amazon Bedrock, which gives us access to a number of different foundation models, including many popular large language models. So what problem am I going to solve in this example where I integrate Lambda and Claude? Well, this Lambda function will pass in some text using a prompt to Anthropic's Claude. The prompt will instruct Claude to mask out any personal identifying information, also known as PII. The prompt instructs Claude to process the text inside of the XML block, which is included in the prompt. Quick note. This example is provided in the Amazon Bedrock documentation, and I thought it'd be a good showcase for this video. The first thing I want to do is sign in to the AWS Management Console. If you don't have an AWS Cloud account and you want to follow along, you can create one for free. You will only be charged for the cloud resources you use. Both AWS Lambda and Amazon Bedrock have pay-per-use pricing models, so you will only be charged for the number of requests you make to these two services. For this example, I'm expecting to spend just a few cents. Once I've logged into the AWS console, I first navigate to Amazon Bedrock to enable use of the Anthropic Cloud LLM, which I will use for this example. I typed in Bedrock in the services search bar to find it faster. Once I do this, I click on the Amazon Bedrock service, which will then take me to the Bedrock Services homepage. Now I click the Get Started button. Now I'm going to look for the Model Access link on the left navigation sidebar. I have to scroll down to find this link. I see it toward the bottom. There it is. And now I can click the Model Access link. In addition to seeing which models I have access to, this is where I can request access to additional models. You can see that I've requested and received access for many of the foundation models in Amazon Bedrock. If you're following along and if this is your first time using Claude in Bedrock, you'll need to request access. Submit your request, providing details on your use case and organization. After this, you'll need to wait for AWS to review your request. Approval times may vary, and AWS may contact you for additional information if needed. But for me, it took just a few minutes from request to approval. Once approved, you'll receive a confirmation email or notification in your AWS account. Once this occurs, you're ready to go with Bedrock. Now, the next thing I need to do is create our Lambda function. So I go back to the services search bar and I enter in Lambda. Now I click on the Lambda service to navigate over to the AWS Lambda service homepage. Now I want to create the AWS Lambda function, so I click the Create Function button. I'm going to author my Lambda from scratch, so I leave this option enabled. I now enter my Lambda function name, and I select Python 3.12 as my language runtime. I go with all the other defaults, and I click the Create Function button. Now, my Lambda function is created. The AWS Lambda function comes with default settings and some simple default Python code I will modify in a bit. But before I update the Python code, I want to first give the Lambda function permissions to make requests to Anthropic Claude, so I will click the Configuration link. I want to modify permissions, so now I click the Permissions link. Quick background. Every Lambda function has a role assigned. You can create one in advance and assign it when you create your Lambda, or you can use an auto-generated role that you get for free from the AWS Lambda service 
when it provisions your Lambda function. This is what I did. I click on the auto-generated role so I can add the permissions needed. I am now in the Lambda roles homepage. I click the Add Permissions dropdown and select Attach Policies. I get a summary of all the predefined policies that AWS has pre-configured. I want to use one that has already been created for Bedrock. I enter Bedrock into the search bar and hit Enter to see if there are any predefined policies I can use. I get a list of four predefined policies. I check the first policy, Amazon Bedrock Full Access, and I click the Add Permissions button. I have now attached this policy to the Lambda's role. Okay, so now our Lambda function will have the appropriate permissions to make calls to Anthropic's cloud available through the Amazon Bedrock service. Okay, so now with this permission configured, I click the code link so I can go and update the Python code. Here's the default Python that came with the Lambda function. And now I'll go ahead and put in my final Python code. I enter the example code and click the deploy button to update the code in AWS Cloud. Let's step through this code so you can see what it does. The Python first imports dependencies. Next, I instantiate a Bedrock client object using the Amazon Boto3 library. Next, I define a variable for the model ID. Now I define a user message variable, which will contain the prompt I'm going to send over to Claude. The input text that I want to PII sanitize is enclosed in the XML tags. After the prompt, I define a conversation variable. This conversation object will be passed to Claude when I make the call. So now here's a Python code inside of the Lambda handler. This Python function called Lambda Handler is the entry point for the Lambda function. The first thing this code does is print out the Boda3 library version. So why am I doing this? Well, if you would have run this code example in early 2024, it would not have worked out of the box as the Boda3 library version configured in the AWS Lambda service runtime environment didn't have support for Bedrock. If you would have gotten this to work, you would have had to create your own AWS Lambda layer with the latest Boto3 library version and uploaded this yourself. Not the end of the world, but it would have been a little extra work. This has all changed as of the summer of 2024, and now it's a lot easier. The newer version of the Boto3 library with support for Bedrock is now configured in the AWS Lambda service runtime environment, so there's no longer a need to create and upload your own Lambda layer with the latest Boto3 library. If you run this, make sure the region you use has Boto3 version 1.34.145, which has support for Bedrock. Now going back to the Python example code, after printing the Boto3 version, the Python code makes a client request to Claude. You can see that the model ID, the conversation object, and settings such as temperature at 0.5, top P at one, and top K500 are all passed over to Claude in this call. The response comes back and is printed out to the console. Okay, let's run this. In the AWS console, I click the test button. This is the first time I've explicitly run this Lambda function, so it wants me to create a test payload to pass in. I just give the test a name of my test event and I click save. Now I click the test button again the Lambda runs and successfully makes a call to Claude. The Lambda displays the output in the execution results window, and you see the Boda3 library version is 1.34.145, which is good. This is the version that supports Bedrock. And you also see the PII sanitized output that Claude generated and returned in the response. The Python code prints out all of this in the console window. Nice, it worked. Okay, I hope this has been helpful for you. I plan to continue to show more code examples in the future. I hope to include a variety of vector databases and LLMs that are available in the market. Let me know if there's anything specific you would like to see. If you're interested, you can see the YouTube description for the GitHub URL for this code example. Okay, thanks for watching. This video 
along with all my other videos in the LLM code examples playlist are listed in the YouTube description. I invite you to watch other videos on my channel. If you like the way I'm sharing this content, please consider subscribing. When you subscribe, this really helps my channel grow. One last thing, we all love technology and we're all excited about all the innovation with the cloud and machine learning and AI, but don't forget to carve out some time to live in the real world. Go outside, go swimming, go hiking, go climbing, go surfing, get out and move your body. And if you do, tell me in the comments, I wanna hear about it. And with that, have a great day.